Oh, excuse me, is your manager here? Manager. Oh, my darling, how can I help you? I'm going to ask a question. Are you a manager? Yes, darling. But it's from Israel. If you scan the barcode, okay. it will tell you actually it's from Israel. It's writing on the receipt, that. These are some of the drinks in my fridge, guys. Just some of them, subhanAllah, that we drink. Along water and many other things. Many fruits to pick from, many foods to eat from, subhanAllah. What about the people who are starving in Gaza, all around the world, who do not have food to eat? How can we make these drinks, these foods go down our throat, knowing that they are starving? I am working with the one on my charity for the food project, guys, and they are a 100% donation policy charity. I know the brothers who run the charity, and I have full trust in them. That the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, the Muslim is not the one. When his neighbor is hungry, his stomach is full. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh brothers and sisters and dear friends I saw a video of a brother who was going into Audi and scanning these dates who, which write South Africa on them and when he scans them it shows that it's actually from Israel so I thought to myself really? I thought let me go and find out for myself so I went to my local Audi here's a video of what happened I went to the manager of Audi as you guys can see I'm going to go inside inshallah uh, and ask them and see what happens obviously I want to be uh, reasonable, it's not the manager's fault, it's not the company's We're going to go and find out, inshallah, that do they even know why is it uh, labeled as South Africa but it's actually from Israel. Let's see what happens, inshallah. Sorry, Sorry excuse me, is your manager here? Manager. Oh, my darling, how can I help you? Are you a question. Are you manager? Yes, darling. Okay, yeah. So basically, these products, um, you know, it says South Africa. When we scan it, it's, it's actually from Israel. So, is this one from Aldi? Yeah, this Aldi. This is, this is what you guys sell. So, you know, this is. Can you show me what they are? Because yeah. I. Yeah, so basically, yeah, I just want to show you because the thing is, people are. Um, it's in South Africa, but that's not true. It's, it's, it's from Israel. So if you scan it on a scanner, let me show you. So obviously, I know it's, it's not your fault, it's the company's. No, but um, yeah, but I don't it's, know when this item came in because I yeah. didn't see it until now. Yeah, so it's here here but when you scan it if you go to scan it it will show you it's actually from israel but what that means is you're dece it's deceiving people because you know people are boycotting israel what is going on with the genocide but it's from israel if you scan the barcode okay. it will show you actually it's from israel it's writing on the receipt that yeah, yeah if you scan it like for example let me show you are you, are you the, you're the manager yeah, but I'm, yeah. yeah I'm gonna go in the office to ask about it but yeah. we are not aware about it so yeah. if which application are you using? Can QR you? code, QR code. Yes, QR can. code. If, you, if you check, but Audi, Audi would know. Uh, I, I, I'm sure you guys... Well, if, if Audi will know, we're going to have a notice. I didn't okay. receive any kind of thank notice. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go in the office and that means they were going to remove everything. Okay, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, that's, well, that's good results. Alhamdulillah. She's very, very friendly. Not only that, she said we are not even aware. And she goes, we're going to make a notice and move everything. Alhamdulillah. So as you can see here, guys, uh, boycotting. I'm going to be going to other places as well, but um, hopefully I'm going to put a complaint in and we can even offer a complaint, inshallah. Um, and yeah, that's, that's, that's what it is. I came to Audi in my local. I don't really shop in Audi. I know that there's anything wrong with Audi, but at least they are receptive. They are understanding and they're going to put a complaint in so they can remove all of these. Inshallah. And do the same in your local branch. Please go to the manager and speak to them, please. I don't know what to say. I was, I was there speechless. Very look, look, she just dealt with the matter straight away, alhamdulillah. And we can also put a complaint, inshallah, through to all the Audis. You guys need to do this to all the Audis, all of them. I can't do, I'm not Superman, guys. I cannot do it on my own. I'm doing these videos to encourage you guys. Go and do the same thing to every single manager in Audi across the country. So, guys, as you saw for yourself, subhanallah, she was very receptive. She said, Really? Oh my gosh, we didn't know. If we knew it, don't worry, we're going to take them all off. Look at that. The moment she found out, she's a, she could say, you know what, it's going to have to do with me. She could have any of that. Okay. No, no, she could say, you know what, yeah, sorry. This, that's, no, no, you know, like Faris, you know, or the Coca-Cola laughing about it. Yeah. Uh, not boycotting. Yeah. It could have been like that. No, 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 no. This non-Muslim woman has more care, yeah, than the Coca-Cola drinking Faris can ever had in his life. What do you think? Cola, Cola Zero, please. Oh, I'm supposed to be boycotting? Hmm? Am I supposed to be boycotting in this video? Uh, this is what happens, subhanAllah. And guys, I urge you guys to do the same thing. This woman was absolutely lovely. She's, you heard what she said. You know, I thought it would have been confrontational. I showed her, she said, oh my gosh. Yeah? She said, Israel, South Africa, you, you're deceiving people? Automatically, she said, yep, I'm going to uh, uh, look into the matter and we're going to take them off.
straight away, bro, literally straight away. No convincing, nothing, straight away. And then we have Muslims who care more about their taste buds, older than Coca-Cola Zero, because they have zero character, they have zero heart, and they have zero mercy. That's all I have to say, inshallah, brothers and sisters. Do the same around, brothers and sisters. Do not miss this opportunity to hit them where it hurts. Brothers and sisters, inshallah, the whole world is going to see, inshallah, and one day Palestine is going to be free, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.